Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me. Troy Goldie, Marriage Officer. And uh, now is another vlog. And this vlog is about the documentation that is required in the case of two non-South Africans getting married in South Africa. Now, this is very important because there are very important rules and regulations governing this. And I want to make sure that everybody knows what is required. Now, the first thing that you must remember that as a non-South African marrying in South Africa, you do not feature on the South African population register. So there's no way of them checking a database to check whether you are legally married or not. So there's certain documents that they are going to need in your instance that will not be needed in other instances. So right, let's go through it quickly. Now, the most important thing that I would always need from a couple is number one, the bride's passport very important the passport you know, that's the cover page or the, the page with a photograph and then the last entry stamp into South Africa so if you are coming into the country and you're getting married in a week's time two weeks time you would have to supply that entry stamp prior to the wedding taking place that is extremely important because that has to be given to home affairs it has to be a clear good certified copy of those two documents please then I would also require of the groom the same thing, a copy of his passport or the bride's passports, so in other words, both passports, and obviously the entry stamps, very important. The two witnesses that are going to sign the register on that day, on your wedding day. Now, if it's two foreigners, it might be that you're using a witness or two witnesses that are non-South African. If that's the case, it's perfectly legal, you can do that as long as you have a copy of their passport as well as the last entry stamp for them, please. If your witnesses happen to be a South African citizen, well then a South African ID document is required. There's a very important document called a letter of no impediment. Now, as I said before, because you do not feature on the South African population register, it is incredibly important that you remember that we have no way of checking your status. So Home Affairs requires a letter of no impediment, a single status certificate or whatever you want to call it, but we call it a letter of no impediment, which basically confirms that you are not legally married anywhere else or in the country that you come from. So if you are a citizen of Germany or America or wherever, that document would be issued by the government of the country you come from. Please keep that in mind. That would have to be done prior to the date of the wedding, obviously, so that I have got that available to hand to Home Affairs. Also keep in mind that that particular document must be apostilled, which is a way of authenticating that document as being a genuine document, and it must be in English. So if it's a foreign language that it's in, it will have to be officially translated and again apostilled as a verified translation of that particular document. So please keep that in mind. You need that document. And of course, don't forget the witnesses, their passports. If you have been married before in the country that you've come from, again, you would need a copy of the decree of divorce. Again, certified and apostille to make sure that it's authenticated and make sure that it's translated into English, please. That is important because obviously without that document, you're not going to be able to get the registration of the marriage done in South Africa. What I do is as a marriage officer, I will issue you with another declaration that you would sign on the day of the wedding called a declaration for the purpose of marriage. You don't have to worry about that document because I will supply that document. But that document basically states that you are getting married to your prospective wife or husband and you would then sign and verify that you are not married anywhere else. So it's just another backup of the fact that you are not married. The United Kingdom does not issue a letter of no impediment and therefore it becomes a bit of a problem because when we ask for the letter of no impediment you obviously cannot supply it because the British government doesn't issue it and because they don't issue it they have a letter that confirms the fact that they do not, do not issue it and that letter is a letter that you would have to get from the British consulate as a verification of the fact it's crazy I know 
that's just the way it is. So the letter basically, there's a copy of the letter on the screen now, shows you that it's just stating that you do not get a letter of no impediment. Okay, so you would have to get that document, but it's very easy to get it. You just go to the consulate and they would give you that letter. Three ID size photographs of the couple, the bride and the groom, those get attached to the register as well. On the day of the wedding, you will be issued with a marriage certificate. I'm going to show you an example of it. It is the abridged marriage certificate. Now, the unabridged marriage certificate is a document that is a computer-generated document that is required by most overseas or most foreign countries when you want to register your marriage that you've done here in South Africa in the country that you come from. Now, unfortunately, as a marriage officer, home affairs have stopped us from doing that on your behalf. So we will issue or I will issue a, an abridged marriage certificate that will have all your information on it. Please note that the new surname of the bride does not, is not reflected on that document at all. But that document will be given to you on the day of the wedding. In fact, I'll give you that, the original, and I'll give you two certified copies for your safekeeping. If you need to register the marriage overseas, you would then need to obviously get the original unabridged marriage certificate. And for that, you would need a copy of the register, which I would send you, a scanned copy, as well as the application form, as well as the process of how to go about to do that. So I'll help you as much as I can in showing you the process to do that. That document would also need to be apostilled, which is again a way of authenticating it for your government that it is a genuine South African document and not something that you pulled out of Photoshop. So very easy for two non-South Africans to get married in South Africa. It's just a matter of getting the right documentation, doing the wedding, and then obviously you guys applying for the unabridged marriage certificate so that you can register the marriage in the country of your choice. Just keep in mind, it unfortunately is a long process uh, to get that unabridged marriage certificate does take quite a while my name is troy goldie marriage officer if you want to contact me please my numbers are on the screen my email is on the screen you're more than welcome to contact me i'll be more than happy to help you thanks very much and i hope this has helped cheers mm -hmm.